Hello Wendy's. Welcome back to our channel. Today in this video, we'll talk about why people quit their vending machine businesses. So, let's start this video. We came across so many people who left the vending machine business because of numerous reasons which we will cover in this video. Before starting a business, you should have a deep knowledge about your product, competition, scalability and many other factors which one might find trivial initially. Vending machine is not a source of passive income. Those who started this business thinking that it provide passive income without investing the required amount of time will not be successful. The more time you spend in this business which make it less passive which means it make you work for less money. Scalability when you start a vending machine business, the profit will not be seen initially or the amount of machine, let's suppose you are earning from 4 to 5 machines, it won't be a profitable business. Once you start scaling it up, then only one can see the profits as it is simple concept of economies of scale. Also, it needs a fair amount of time to be profitable. It comes only with patience and consistency. Location This factor is the key to earn through vending machine business and not the number of machines if the location is incorrect. Now, finding a good location is extremely difficult, but it should consist of three points, which are high foot traffic, highly profitable, and secure location. Competition. Considering an independent vending machine company and not as a company like Coca-Cola or Pepsi, as they have infrastructure that we as a new vending machine companies do not have. They have the employees they have the products because they sell what they manufacture. Therefore, these companies earn a lot through the margins. Mobility issues. As it looks simple to move the machine, actually it is completely opposite of how it looks because these machines are very hard to move because of their huge sizes. Places should be secured and also should have elevators to move. It would be impossible if it has to move via stairs. Expensive. Quality machinery for vending is expensive and it also depends on the type of machine that you get because vending machine is vast and it's not just snack and rings but there are vending machines that sell niche products and you have machines that microwave food and that can sell you ice cream and machines at the airport that can sell electronics. But quality vending machine that sell snack and drinks are expensive. Inexpensive machines usually have some type of issues that tend to be a little bit more outdated. Technological issues Every vending machines have some type of issues because at the end of the day, you are using technology. You are going to have issues with your bill collector, card processor because it runs on the cell phone towers around it. You might have issues with an item not being able to vend sometime, with the motor is not working correctly. There could be a number of reasons why people do not buy from vending machines. Cost If you are earning 5 to 7 thousand a month from one machine, that is your gross profit. So it does not take into account your expenses, which includes restocking of the machine, credit card processing fees, insurance, if you have insurance of your machine. The money you have to pay to the people are the managers or owners of the facility that you are using. So much of your money can be dished out of your gross profit, which make this business not as profitable, especially if you are just now getting started and don't have a lot of locations or a lot of machines. But if the planning is done properly before starting this business, you can actually stand on the edge over many players in the market. Then you can enjoy this business and scale it. Right location. Some people who are making huge amount from this business is only because they have those few rare locations that do exist but it's very difficult for us as independent business machine operating companies. But if we spend some time finding a good location in respect to installing your vending machines, your majority of work is done towards a successful business. Plus side, if you are looking at this from an easy way to make money, for example, if you are bringing in X amount per month and you put in 10 hours a day, that one put in their job, you can make 30 times in a month, which is a very good amount. But it depends on how much time you invest. Sometimes 
the location you decided do not want to work with reputable companies or big brands because they feel out of touch they feel like they can't get in contact with people soon enough they feel like they might not be able to service soon enough so having an independent company at that point does privilege them which is a selling point when you are looking for a secure location smart solution we at vendify understand this business and we know what a new independent business owner will go through after starting this business therefore we provide them a smart solution which helps in taking care of all the analytics and technicalities related to their vending machine business and helps in scalability low risk investment starting a vending machine business does not require a lot of money and hence it is a low risk investment which can help understand the business without worrying much about it so that's all for today's video we hope that you have learned something new if you enjoyed this video please like share and for more such interesting videos do not forget to press the subscribe button thanks for watching see you in the next video till then keep vending bye bye